Hundreds of paddlers have taken to the waters of Western Port Bay protesting AGL's plan to build a gas import jetty. Australia has overtaken Qatar as the world's biggest LNG exporter, but AGL says importing natural gas is its best option to secure supply and drive down prices. Mark Santo Martino with more. Floating just off the sands of Western Port Bay, Hundreds of paddlers on boards, boats and anything that could float united in sending a single message to energy giant AGL. We're just a community members that love this area and want to protect it. Peaceful protesters dominating the secluded Shoreham Beach an hour's drive southeast of Melbourne determined to protect their marine playground. The penguins, the little fish, everything is important and of course the surf. Australia has overtaken Qatar as the world's largest exporter of natural gas. AGL, a retailer, says it can't secure enough gas for its customers beyond 2021 and is looking overseas to secure supply, proposing to build an import terminal at Western Port Bay where liquefied natural gas could be shipped in, processed and pumped through Victoria via a new pipeline. Now Australians should be really angry about that because we should have a domestic reserve. 100 ships already make their way through the port of Hastings every year, 75% of those carrying oil, gas and petroleum products. If successful, the AGL ships would dock here at Crib Point, with the company hoping to bring an extra 12 ships through the bay in its first year. If it uh, passes muster through that rigorous process of environmental uh, approval, uh, then uh, we will support it, but uh, not until it meets uh, th that strict criteria. Seawater needed to process the LNG will be pumped back into the bay containing a small amount of chlorine at seven degrees cooler. According to AGL's senior manager, expert reports show the chlorine breaks down very rapidly and the temperature differences quickly dissipate. The company adding today that it's currently taking part in the government's environmental assessment to protect Western Port. It's going to turn into a drain. It's not going to be a beautiful recreational area. Mark Santomartino, Nine News.